guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys this really really simple eye look and it's so flattering yet it's so easy to do so for today's tutorial i've actually done one side of my eyes already off camera and i'll be showing you guys the tutorial or how i actually do it um using like the other side of my eyes for today's makeup look currently i'm not wearing any foundation we still have to wear masks at all times so i don't want to clog my pores and you know i don't want to get any mask me so i try my best to keep my face makeup as simple as I can. So for now, I'm not using any foundation, just my Giorgio Armani concealer, which is my favorite concealer hands down. For this eye look, it's really, really simple. The main focus of the eyes is actually the eyeshadow part. Of course, I added a little bit of magnetic lashes and I also added quite a little bit of mascara on my lower lash line. But other than that, it's really, really simple. And if you're going for a date or if you're going for any special occasion, but if you don't want to like wear too much eye makeup, I think this is perfect and it's good for day, it's good for night and yeah, it's just a perfect look for anyone with minimal makeup skills, I guess. So let's get started on today's makeup. Okay, so first I will prime my eyelids using the NYX Prove it. So usually if you guys watch my video, you know that I don't really prime my eyelids unless I'm wearing like a lot of eyeshadow. So for today, since I'll be wearing quite a lot of eyeshadow in my opinion, I will just quickly prime my eyelids. Then I will blend with my fingers. So as you can see, after I put like the primer on my eyelid, my eyelid instantly become slightly tacky so this allows the eyeshadow to sit better on my eyelid and the color can show off slightly better compared to if I were not to use the primer at all after I have primed my eyelid I'll be setting the primer using a mixture of charmer and flower chow okay done so I've already set my eyelid and now I will be going in with Smarty Pants and Jet Setter I will apply this shade all over my lid as you can see over here then now I will focus more on Smarty Pants on the outer corner of my eyes but I will also drag it to the inner corner of my eyes Okay, now changing to a smaller brush. So this is the Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva. I will now deepen my outer corner using the shade Rebel. And I'll also slightly drag the color into my inner corner as well. So just make sure that you blend your eyeshadow properly. And now using the same brush, I will use um, Sweetheart on my lower eyelid. So after applying the matte eyeshadow, I will be using this wing liner brush from Zoeva as well. So now I'll be using um, the shade Smarty Pants to draw a Wu Chan. No idea what that is in English. So basically, I will just line my lower eyelid. So the purpose of drawing this line is so that you look more innocent slightly towards the outer corner of my lower eyelid I will draw a really really short wing which is very trendy nowadays so this is how it will look like try to make it not too obvious so this is how I would draw it Okay, now taking another eyeshadow palette. This is the eyeshadow palette from Kiko Milano. I will be using this shade over here. So I will apply this shade using my finger and I'll place this shade on the center of my eyelid. To really make the center of my eyes pop, I will add a little bit of the Super Shock highlighter from Colourpop and I also apply with my finger similarly focus this shade on the center of my eye so as you can see the center of my eye is very very shiny right now which is what I want to achieve with these two shades okay next I will be using this shade over here you can just take any champagne shimmery shade and I will apply this shade onto my lower eyelid 
focusing on the front of my eyes now I will highlight my inner corner using the shade funny girl on my color in blue so usually I'll just highlight my inner corner using my pinky because I'm so lazy and I'll put the excess on my nose tip to make my nose sharper so that's all for the eyeshadow and now moving on to the lashes I will be using magnetic eyelashes today like what I did on my left eye so first I need to apply the magnetic eyeliner first okay so you guys have seen me done this like a million times so I will just fast forward <music> I'm done with the magnetic eyelashes and now I'm going to line my eyeliner I mean I'm going to use my own eyeliner so for today I'm using my Kat Von D tattoo liner for my ring liner okay done with my eyeliner I hope they look the same so now I'll just like coat my lashes gently using my Lash Paradise from L'Oreal and I really want to focus this uh, mascara mainly on my lower lash line and if you feel that your lower lashes are not full enough you can just take any like black eyeliner to fake it <laughs> that's what I usually do so of course you want to choose like a tip that's like very very thin so that it looks more realistic <laughs> So that is the complete eye look, which I think is really nice. So let me just get my hair done. Okay, so that completes uh, this eye tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think this eye look will probably suit anyone because it's so flattering on the eyes and it's really really easy to do. Even if you don't wear that much eyeshadow on a daily basis, you can definitely try this out for a date night or big Valentine's Day or is it Christmas or whatever. I just think that it's very very flattering and I really really love this eye look. So if you guys like to see more of such um, tutorials or eye look, just let me know in the comments down below. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!